Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A man who tried to blame his 12-year-old daughter for murdering his wife has died in prison. 64-year-old Brad Rhea was serving a life sentence from Hughes County for the 2006 murder of his wife Tammy. He died in the Jameson Annex Infirmary in Sioux Falls on Sunday. The couple had announced a divorce five days before Tammy was found stabbed to death near the Oahe Dam. The cause of Brad Rie's death was not revealed by the state. Monday, crews started construction on the Benson Road Bridge. The road from Minnesota Avenue to 4th Avenue is expected to remain closed until November. A detour will run to 60th Street, where traffic can then come down on Cliff Avenue. But the closure has several businesses in the area trying to spread the word to their customers. No one really knew that that, bit, that bridge was going to be closed anytime soon. And so when I saw the, the sign go up last week, uh, a lot of people around here on Benson were also surprised. Businesses say they've seen construction in the area before, but this is a larger project than most others. They were once on the endangered species list, but not anymore. In fact, the number of bald eagles has been soaring. Take a look at this. Dozens of bald eagles have been spotted at Lake Thompson. Hunting and fishing guide Ryan Sauter says in all the years he's lived there, he's never seen this many bald eagles at one time. You know, years ago, you would, if you saw one, you were just pumped. And now today, you know, there's 50 plus out here. Our wildlife photographer, Kevin Kiergaard, says he counted 78 bald eagles when he was there. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Those bald eagles seen more and more open water these days, Scott. Yeah, that trend will continue as we are looking at well above average temperatures and continuing to melt the snow and ice for the next several days. Temperatures for today will hit the 40s and 50s for afternoon highs. We'll go with 55 in Sioux Falls, 43 in Huron as we continue to melt snow in Huron, 46 degrees in Brookings. 48 Aberdeen, 55 in Rapid City. Keep in mind, we do have thick fog developing from Brookings to Watertown this morning. That will slowly go away during the morning hours. Warm and dry throughout the week as we do hit the weekend downright mild. Temperatures may hit the 60s on Sunday. More details on that forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. After an 11-day layoff, Great Bear Ski Valley in Sioux Falls is once again open for business. The popular winter sports spot was closed for nearly two weeks due to a lack of snow, but took advantage of colder temperatures over the holiday weekend to make and groom snow. 100% of the trails are currently open for skiing and snowboarding. I don't know how long we're going to stay open. You know, the forecast isn't the best. You know, I see some 50s on the horizon, but, uh, you know, we're going to stick, stick it out as long as we can. Um, I mean, it's, it looks great right now. So uh, hopefully we get a lot of people to come out and enjoy the, uh, this is probably going to be the final days of the season. The slopes are open, but the tubing hill is officially closed for the season. We provided a link with lift ticket information and a calendar of events under this story at Kelloland.com. The Brookings curling team and the Parks and Rec Department joined up to create a free event for the last day of Frost Fest in Brookings. People gathered at the Larson Ice Center to learn the basics of curling. One of the participants, Kaylin Rogers, has been curling for the last 10 years. She says she enjoys having a sport to play in the wintertime. Winter is a time where people don't have a lot to do or going on, so having the ability to get out and have an option of something to do and be active is always a good option. Rogers was part of the biggest group the curling team has hosted during the event. Four girls are making Madison history by being the first female wrestlers from the school to make it to the state tournament this week. I feel very proud of myself and I feel like so many others do too. I'm really glad I got this opportunity and I know it's going to be some tough competition, but I know I just have to go out there and do my best. So You'll hear from the girls and their coach on what this historic moment means for Madison Wrestling in a Kelloland.com original by Gracie Terrell. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? 
All right. Our weather update today. Well, numbers in the 40s and 50s later today, as you can see, the hourly trends uh, certainly going in that direction here by, say, mid-afternoon. Sioux Falls should be at least in the lower 50s and maybe arguably a couple degrees warmer than that. Down towards Sioux City could even be closer to 60. Here on Watertown held down just a little bit because we still have some snow on the ground. In fact, we've even generated some morning fog around Watertown in particular and then more 50s in western South Dakota. Overnight tonight, I would expect uh, some clouds thickening in the south, and then we'll watch to see if we can roll up any sprinkles here and there. And just a few more clouds tomorrow will probably put a cap on Sioux Falls, uh, staying mostly in the mid-50s. But I can't rule out a couple of 60s. Uh, south Central Kettle Land seems at least close to that level. And then we'll get into Thursday and Friday, some subtle cooling. We're talking slight differences in temperatures, nothing drastic. The weekend, very impressive, 50s. By Monday, we're even looking at some 60-degree weather, but that's going to come ahead of this, a cold front. Do you notice that the colors here in Canada and into the western part of the country, oh, they're turning into the blues, some below normal numbers. We'll see how that affects our weather getting into next week, but we still have plenty of time to look at that scenario as it develops. Highs today, 50 in Mitchell, 43 in Huron. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. And I would say for the most part here, it's way above normal. There's no question there. Even 46 on Friday, slightly cooler. 52 on Saturday. And day number seven, closer to 60. Aberdeen is also closer to 60 by early next week. So no mention of precip for now. We're still toying with the idea of putting something in there maybe later Monday into Tuesday, but still a timing issue on that. Pier, Central South Dakota, 60 on Monday. And those 50s before it, certainly going to make it feel like spring. I can't argue with that. And Rapid City in the West, 50s and even turning the corner to 60. 60 on Saturday, 61 Sunday. Check out more details online at kettleland.com.